daddy's bow. And he's pulling up the truck. Isn't it so shiny? And then I think who was in the window? Can't tell because it's sunny but cold. I basically have socks on for gloves. So yeah. And I really like this. I really like this camera. I really like it. Chariot L8. Well, come on. So send some arrows. So what are we gonna do? Uh, we're gonna shoot my new Matthews <laughs> Triax. And we're gonna get some, we got we're gonna run three cameras. Uh, we just got done playing with the dog, and we're gonna go to an outdoor range at Whitaker Gun Store. Um, and uh, it goes from 20 to 60 yards. Uh, it does get shot a lot, and I like to shoot uh, about once a week. Keep my skills good. Good. Because I'll be hunting all next week. I might not get a chance. So this is pretty much the last time I'll get to uh, shoot my bow again. I got to put some uh, gloves on because I'll be hunting with gloves on. And I'll uh, just make sure everything's good. We got the bow. We got the cameras. We got the tripod. We got the GoPro. We got the camcorder. We got the Sony. Which I'm really excited about. Should take some good stills. And uh, last time I shot the bow, shot really good. I made one adjustment to my release. I put it a little closer up, and uh, we'll shoot a little thing about that. And uh, my group's got a lot better. I'm a lot more confident. And I started shooting with both my eyes open, and I like that a lot better. Good. Yep. And we might even uh, break out the GoPro wrist strap and see if I can't get some uh, arrow flights when I shoot the bow. I think it would be pretty cool. We'll probably shoot a couple rounds at 20 yards. Normally I shoot at 40. Uh, and then we'll take some shots at 60 and see what happens. Then I go back to 40, and then I go back to 20. And then I'll shoot my last round at uh, 40. It's Good. So it's the new Matthews bow. It's a 70 pound bow. My previous bow was a Mission Ballistic, and it was a 60 pound bow, and the draw was about an inch and a half too short for me. Um, to where, or it was about, yeah, I'd say about an inch and a half, to where now I'm shooting a 29 inch bow or 29 inch draw and it's a 29 inch bow how crazy is that so the arrows are just about as long as the bow is it's pretty funny hmm. so it's a short bow but it shoots really really good it's real smooth on the draw um, the release is great and there's almost no vibration it's super quiet it, it really is an awesome bow and that's why I got it. If it if it wasn't as good as it was, I would have stuck with my m mission ballistic.
Now we're gonna go check um, his um, score thing. See if he got it. See. It's actually a bad group. Now where on the bullseye were you trying to get? <laughs> so three of them I tried to hit here, the other one I tried to hit right here. How did it work out? Uh, I was pretty close. I just shot it too, a little too early. It's weird when there's a camera on and you're shooting. Yeah, because it kind of like... Like added pressure. Right. So what got you started on shooting? Awesome. He bought me my, uh, my first bow and I could shoot it in the front yard after school and had aluminum arrows, very old bow. That was over 22 years ago. Wow. And now we got the Matthews Triax. So and how's the Matthews Triax different than all your other bows? Um, it's shorter. Like me? Yeah. So it's a lot shorter. It's got the big cams. Okay. Okay. So, like I said, I pulled back. It's a 29 inch draw. My arrow is almost as long as the bow is. <laughs> Uh, usually it's another four to six inches longer. Yeah. Uh, especially since I was shooting shorter arrows, but I also went to a single pin sight and it's a real smooth draw. Like I said, I'm used to shooting a 60, so I've been getting beefed up a little bit to shoot the 70. So basically you're doing a variety. What do you mean? Like a variety of both to see which one's the best or that's more comfortable to you? Yeah, I shot several and nothing compared to it. So, uh, especially for the size. Yeah. That's uh, being short. in a ground blind or be, being a big guy up in the tree stand, it just, you know, it's a big, uh, it's a big change. I like, you know, I even got a micro suppressor crossbow. It's about half the size of the other ones. And uh, having that little small crossbow in a, in a blind. When I harvested uh, a doe, it just made a huge difference. Hmm. So uh, I really enjoyed it, and I figured about figured I'd just go with a smaller bow. Hmm. If it could shoot as good as a longer bow, and to be honest with you, uh, I, I really don't see a difference. Now we're gonna start shooting at 40. I'm gonna take my time a little more, and uh, we'll run another camera out there at the target. Now you stay right where you are, don't move. Mm -hmm. Did it again. That just hit the barn. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because the ground's frozen. Oh crap, it's because I got it on 20. <laughs> well, if you're going to shoot at 40, you might as well set it at 40. Yeah. See, I got so distracted. I thought it was me, it wasn't. Ugh. Everybody's asking what we're doing, they're curious. All right, kid, get on the other side of me. Okay. All right, go ahead and start recording. Shot. So we gotta go pull an arrow out of the wood again. If you're gonna shoot at 40, you gotta set the sight to 40. I feel like I have a thousand people watching me right now. I know. Well, maybe a thousand. Uh, yeah, a few. Yeah. Oh. Just imagine all those 
another good shot. I'm actually going to take this jacket off. I'm burning up. Alright, let's go see what we got. Now we're going to see how he did good at hitting at 40. Yeah. <laughs> That's a steep hill. Not as good as I will next time. Yeah. This is weird. What? Why are you doing this? <laughs> I just came out here and shoot by myself. I'd be fine. I'd shoot the heck of a lot better, too. <laughs> yeah, it's just the pressure. And there are a bunch of rocks. Uh oh, that's a bad shot. Look, a free no. camera! No. But look, check this out. Oh, did we hear... What are you talking from? about? Free camera. Oh, no. I was just joking because I thought the GoPro was down there. So, if we look at this... Got one in the long... And right here is where the heart and the lung is. Awesome. So we got two good shots. All right, let's go find this arrow. Eh, I'm really good at finding them. Yeah, well, it's eh. Eh. So cold out here. It's like nine degrees, fifteen or so. I don't know. Ugh. I'm basically covered in and stuff to keep you warm. That's fine, but I mean, it's just a bit much. Whoa, we actually got it into the barn. That's awesome. Even though might have might have damaged his arrow. I don't know. Is your arrow damaged? Whew. And believe it or not, that is over a hundred yards away. Yeah, because we are shooting right there. Yeah. And, yeah. Oh. <coughs> so, it's stuck. No, the arrow is fine. It's the arrow uh, point. Is in the wood. I'm trying to... <sighs> Just don't break it. Nope, not broken. Still good. Cool. These arrows, if they crack and pop, when you uh, bend them, they're no good. Mm. But since it's not cracking and popping, it's all right. All right, let's shoot around for real. Mm. We have two mm. the feeling of a thousand eyes on me, it's all got to go away. Yeah, so you got to get used to that because if you go into a archery competition you might be on TV that's right this is kind of good because it's making me nervous a little bit right uh, you alright? the uh, tree you like the tree? yeah what do you think all the deer? I think they're adorable daddy but they're more adorable. <laughs> so cute. Well, do you make some <laughs> And somebody started that truck, so that's the living in the background. Let the real round begin. Alright, why don't you stop the clip? We don't want our clip super long. Oh uh, no, I start already started. Okay. Good job. Ready? Ready. Alright. Aim. I love you, kid. I want you to turn it and zoom on that deer I'm shooting, and you'll see both arrows right beside each other. Stop the clip, restart it, and then zoom in. I know I can. You still can't see it, it's on the 
Keep it just like that because I'm going to shoot it, okay? Ready? Look, it's not bad. This one was a little off, but all the rest of them, these two are right beside each other. I mean, the fletching is almost touching that arrow. And then the other one's right in the longs. So I'm pulling it a little bit to the left, but everything, you know, we're, we're, we're getting where we need to be. So yeah. we'll shoot a couple more rounds. And make sure we're on. Okay. A couple of them pretty much went through, but as you can see, the third one was right in there as well, and that's what we want to see. Stop it! <laughs> Video bombed you. And then that's not a thing. <laughs> So I really hope you like um, my dad's archery and I hope you like this video. Yeah.